What is going on everyone? My name is Ken, also known as Wiltshire, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install a PCI Express Wi-Fi card in your computer. Now the Wi-Fi card that I've chosen to install is the ASUS PCE-N15 Wi-Fi card. Before I continue on with the tutorial, I just want to make sure that you guys are watching the right video. So in this video, I'll be dealing with the PCI Express X1 slot, and that's why I have a diagram on screen to help you guys out to determine what kind of Wi-Fi card interface that your card uses. So again, mine uses the X1 slot, which is at the top there. And then in the middle, there's the PCI Express X16 slot, which is not used for Wi-Fi cards. This is actually used for graphics cards, so don't get them confused. And the one below the X16 slot is the PCI slot. And this is a very, very old slot, which is no longer used. And if you do have one of these, it's a very, very outdated motherboard that you have. And they do sell PCI Wi-Fi cards, but it is much different, very, very different from PCI Express X1. So make sure you guys got the right card, and I'll be doing again X1 in this video tutorial. So let's continue on. With that said, let's begin the installation process for the Wi-Fi card. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the side panel on my computer. After you've opened up the side panel on your computer case, make sure you ground yourself by touching the inside of the case. If you don't ground yourself, you could potentially static shock other parts in your computer, and this will render them useless. Depending on what motherboard you have, it may be a little difficult to get to the PCIe slot. So here I'm removing my second 560Ti graphics card in my computer so I can get at the PCI Express slot. Now that I've removed my 560Ti, I now have enough room to install the Wi-Fi card. As you can see on my motherboard, it comes equipped with dust protectors. Now your motherboard most likely will not come with this unless you have the ASUS Sabertooth Z77. Before I'm able to install the PCI X1 Wi-Fi card, I have to remove the back metal plating. Now this can be removed by just taking a Phillips head screwdriver and unscrewing the screw on the back plate. Now just remove the plate and you should be ready to go to install the Wi-Fi card. Now that we've removed the metal back plate from your PC case, we now have the ability to install our Wi-Fi card. So you should take extreme care when installing the Wi-Fi card because you can damage other components inside the computer. You can also snap the Wi-Fi card off while it's in the port, so make sure you don't move it around as much. Try not to use force. If you have to force the Wi-Fi card into the port, then it's obviously not fitting properly. Now that the Wi-Fi card has been inserted correctly into the PCI Express X1 slot, we now can screw the back plate for the Wi-Fi card back into the computer. Take the screw that we had left over from removing the metal plate earlier and screw it back into the computer. Now this next step is completely optional. Now if you have two graphics cards like I do, you're going to have to reinsert the second graphics card into the PCIe X16 slot. Now if you have one graphics card, you can proceed to close up the side panel on your computer. But if you have two graphics cards, don't forget to screw the graphics card back into the back of the PC case. Also, don't forget to plug in the six pin power connectors on your graphics card itself or the graphics card will not power. Now the very last step is closing up the side panel on our computer. Before you close up the side panel on your computer, make sure everything is connected properly and everything has power. All right, so that's all there is to installing a PCIe Wi-Fi card. Now, the very, very last step is to install the drivers that came with the product. Now, if you have Windows 8, it will automatically install the drivers for you. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you found this very helpful. If you guys liked the video, please like or subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it. And if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to answer all the questions. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next video.